in the early morning shadow of the Wasatch Mountain Range. Five, four, three, two, one, go! At a lung burning 4,500 feet above sea level. I'm feeling it. Your task is to conduct a range run stress test. Given a designated course, begin. Get it, Barnes, get it, Matt. The 2015 Army National Guard Best Warrior Competition unfolds on the 25,000 acre high desert plain and one of the premier National Guard training sites, Camp Williams, Utah. It's, uh, it's a trem tremendous opportunity. You know, there's no, it, not too many states that get this opportunity, so for it to be held in Utah is tremendous, not only showcase the competitors, the warriors that are competing, but also the support team that is putting on this excellent event and the training opportunity that both audiences will get at the end of the day. So these guys are going to see something they've never seen before in the military. It'll broaden their um, experiences. Um, give them something different to look at, and uh, I want them to have a good experience in Utah, too. I want them to see the good work ethic that the soldiers and NCOs here have and the good support that the state of Utah provides to the Utah Army National Guard. For 72 grueling hours, seven events test the very metal and soul of these 14 elite soldiers. Overshoots, look at your target, see if he hits it. It tests every part of my being, my body, my person. Um, some people go out and do ultra marathons, they do triathlons. Mm -hmm. I enjoy doing this to see where, uh, how far I can push myself. You get to experience so many tasks out here, your weapons tasks, your physics tasks, your land navigation, and it, they, they take you to a next level of proficiency. And you get to take that proficiency level back home and help make your soldiers better and bring them to that proficiency level. It just gets harder and harder, um, more stuff to train for, uh, more distance, uh, mentally, physically, and a lot more pressure as you get higher and higher because more people got eyes on you. I can feel my foot, my toes, my legs, Already winners at their state and regional competitions, they vie for a place at the All-Army Best Warrior competition held later this year at Fort A.P. Hill, Virginia. Guardian Evac, this is Warrior 3 9 line to follow over. <laughs> this is what the the American soldier is all about. All right? We use the military skill set to test them, to show how good they are, how proficient they are with their warrior task skills, drills, and, and weapons proficiency. We also test their uh, technical expertise with shoot, move, and communicate. We talk about medical procedures and, and medevacs, and then we also mentally stress them with a written test, an essay, and, a, and an oral board in front of the senior sergeant's major from across the Army Guard. Uh, when we finally select the winners of this competition, they will have been tested in all of those uh, attributes. With the margin of victory teetering on a razor edge, this competition comes down to its final hour. With 1,050 points available in this year's Army National Guard Best Warrior Competition, it all comes down to this, Event 7 and the board, with a 400-point swing available to the winners. Your 2015 Army National Guard Best Warrior Soldier who will represent the National Guard at the Department of the Army's Best Warrior Competition is Special Air Cruiser Barnes from Region 7. Uh, kind of in shock, you know, I didn't freaking, um, it's crazy. It's Sergeant Robert T. Cunningham from Region 2. It's an honor to be able to represent all 350,000 soldiers in the, uh, in the National Guard. So, um, to be distinguished like that is just it's a truly honor and humbling experience. Reporting from Camp Williams, Utah. For National Guard Bureau of Public Affairs, I'm Army Master Sergeant Paul Mulesault.